Hi everyone, so where am I? Um, I sorted out these bits, I think the last bits that I said. I did end up having to knock them off and just, this one was slightly ski with. That one was okay. That one was okay. But this one should have been slightly flush with the back end rather than the front end. So I had to move that. I've added some Vallejo uh, putty just on both sides. Uh, this part here, still laughing at me. Because it was transparent, I didn't realize how bad a fit it was. I could get one side flush, but then I'd have a really big gap. And it wasn't the sort of part, especially being transparent, that you could bend. You could just imagine it uh, giving way and, and splitting. So I just did a cheat, really. I did a bit of very thin plastic card, added it to the shape of the transparent part, glued it, let it set, and then just trimmed it to shape. Sorted. What else? I've added some plastic card here. Looks like a pizza slice on both sides. This horrendous seam. I've cut out a bit of uh, plastic card again. What will we do with that plastic card, eh? So it should hide that um, horrible seam. Um, and the next thing is to uh, is to mask the canopy up. Then once that's masked, I can start assembling all the cockpit area. Now I'm going to mask the canopy. I'm personally going to find it easier to do it while it's off the body. So uh, I'll get on with this painful task. One down, loads more to go. So that was enjoyable. Now I'm not too fussed about some of the radiuses on these corners here. Because the nice thing about Tamiya paint, um, providing you don't leave it years, is that with a decent cocktail stick, you can uh, scrape the paint off and just neaten up the edges a bit. So the side windows have all been masked. I just used a uh, circle cutter. Just tied up a few areas. Splodge it all on. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to start on the cockpit area, assembling that. So I'm just going to feed these um, wires through the holes that I've drilled out on this plate. It's all very generic. It's just to give a bit of uh, visual interest through that um, lower glaze bit on the canopy. So what I'll do next now, I've fed these uh, wires through this plastic part here. Uh, when I come to uh, attach these two parts to the front of the nose, 
I shall fiddle about with these, either push them in or pull them out, play around with them, put them into some sort of shape. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll trim this off and then seal them in with some super glue at the back there. So these are all the parts to add to the cockpit. I've laid about roughly how and what I'm going to apply first. Those rudder pedals should be fun. Uh, with the uh, centre console assembly last. Uh, I'm going to assemble the rudder pedals first. You've seen the video of me feeding them through, or you may not have, I don't know whether I'm going to add that or not. So the first thing I'm going to do is just attach this part first. So I've pushed the pipes through, or the wire, until I'm happy with the layout and the, uh, the way it runs. And now I can trim, if I can focus, I can trim all the excess off now. So with the excess trimmed, I'm just going to add a bit of super glue to these holes and that will um, hold the wire in place and then I'll get on with the other side. So that's both sides done. Showing this properly. I'm just going to paint that inside area black just for peace of mind I don't think we'll see anything but uh, just for neatness is that focused I can't see anyway So the next thing, uh, these breaker boxes, I think that's what they are. Now, I'm a bit dubious about these. I've seen somewhere they're a bit more at a, almost like a cheese shape either side rather than this box shape. One thing I dread is that these things come loose while 
I've glued the canopy on. The last piece. Don't you be giving me any trouble now, just because you're last. So, I let that all have a rest and dry and I'll come back and just touch up here and there so I've added the canopy I started off one side made sure it lined up reasonably well glued it let it set and then I've just glued the other side it fits but it's not a perfect fit so once that's set I shall add some black to the whole canopy area and then I'll get to see how bad it really is. I've added attachment points for the um, hoist or rescue winch, whatever you want to call it. So once they're dry, I shall drill some holes. Just had a bit of detail on the brackets. So I've painted the whole copper area black. And there are Little faults here and there, There's a little step there by the door. Underneath doesn't seem too bad. Little step there. So there's little bits here and there that I'll have to look at. I'll let the paint dry properly and see whether I can uh, rectify them. The problem I got is that the canopy part finishes so close to the actual body. I do wish manufacturers would think about the modeler. Tamiya do it, why can't other companies do it? What would it have taken to take that transparent part all the way up to this frame here? Even going up to there, I wouldn't have minded. I don't mind a little bit of work around the canopy, but I don't, I don't see the sense of ending it right where the framework ends. There you go, what do I know? So the next thing to do is that I want to try and get some paint on this, but before I do that, I want to add some pre-shading. But before I do that, I just want to mention the uh, door. I've completely rebuilt the actual step structure. I found that the brackets from the kit were far too... Come on, why don't you focus? Uh, far too um, extreme. A simple and quick enough fix. It just looks a bit more realistic now. It might do if it focuses. So I've done some pre-shading. We'll call it that for now. So picking out the highlights and the shadows. Which will bring me on to the actual colours. Now I've been mixing again. Uh, I've got a couple of options here. Uh, I've been messing around with various shades. You could just buy the right colours if you want, but I've, I've never really done that. I've always mixed my colours. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So I've narrowed it down to uh, that green, but I couldn't make my mind up between these two greys. Now, as I've said before, what you're seeing now and what I'm seeing in reality are completely different. But I am heading towards this bluish 
which seems a bit more darker than it does through the screen. So I think that's gonna be my option. Now I think I've got to bear in mind is that I've painted this on white and we've got a black and a, a light gray really. So the tones will vary slightly depending on how many applications of these colors I apply. But I do want to apply them light because I want the pre-shading to show through. So the next thing to do is to add this color. So that's the first colour and it's hard to tell till I get the green on whether that's the right shade or not. So that's the uh, grey taped off. Uh, this is the first time I've used this green tape so I don't know what the paint underneath is going to be like when I pull it all off. Fingers crossed eh. So I'll get on with uh, applying the green. So there's green applied. Dear Lord, uh, masked, I hope. I hope I've covered all the areas and gaps. I ain't gonna lift it up. I don't wanna knock it. Let the black commence. So I've added the black and it's hard to tell till I, I usually just peel a bit back but it won't turn with the whole job until I've taken it all off. It wasn't just pure black neither. I added uh, a bit of this uh, medium blue just to tone the harshness down a bit. So that's the premixed colour now, so I shall mark it on top so I don't get mixed up with just a pure black. I'll take this off now and see what we've got. So that's all the masks peeled off. It's a wavy line. I'm going to uh, seal everything in now with the uh, Tamiya satin varnish. Just to try and stop the paint. I keep knocking it and knocking bits off, especially on the corners here. Even though I've got the base colours on, there's still a long way to go. The next thing I do is to add the walkways, which I'm going to have to paint. Uh, as well as the walkways, I need to um, do the extra vents around here as well. I shall mask and paint those um, because I didn't have any more of the mesh. I didn't have anything extra. I couldn't match up, so they're just going to be painted shapes. So they'll be next. And then I've got the actual... Because I don't have any decals, I've got to think about those next as well before I can start weathering this uh, body. So I'm going to leave it here for now for this video. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and I do hope to see you for the next one.